got a working solution. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nico. So today we are talking about a quick little fix, temporary quick fix, not a long-term fix, uh, for a very little amount of dollars to get you moving with this whole USB disconnecting issue. Okay, and this is just a way for you to get more connectivity going and not have any problems. Uh, for me, this is my temporary solution and it's a workaround until they come up with a solution for all of this. I'm having two different issues. One is it's disconnecting my USBs. For those of you who are not aware, this has been happening for a while. And if you have certain devices like a hard drive, external hard drive, it's been disconnecting them on me and it's been corrupting them sometimes. And it's just like, oh, lose my data. At the same time, my hard drives, my second M.2 slot and my PCIe 2 slot have been running slower with the uh, Gen 4 drives. Now, people solution has been to go to Gen 3 and you can use everything. It's all great. And it's like, well, why, why did I pay all this money for Gen 4 stuff? It doesn't make any sense. Um, at the same time, you know, patience is part of this whole process until they fix this thing. And you're sitting there going, OK, well, what can I do in the in the meantime? Now, for me, I did look up hubs and because my one type C is working great. So I, I found hubs. I'll leave those videos below on the best hubs if that's going to be a solution for you temporarily. Um, but at the same time, I've been working towards finding another solution. And I came across Kevin uh, Molden's uh, web uh, video and he's talking about his whole problem with this thing and he, you know how it's not fair because you know we buy this stuff and it's not it's unfortunate that it's happening but uh, he, he's not really that bad in the situation because he has a PCI card that's working and this is a Thunderbolt 3 and I was like oh that's great like I don't want to spend that kind of money but maybe I can find something similar because if his is working then it could possibly be working for me too. So along comes this company this is Elutang. Elutang sells this card now I think they're just uh you know, distributors of it. So it's not like they've created this card, but uh, it's at a good price. It has a type A and type C. This is a X4 PCIe Express fitting. And basically you put this in a slot and you're off to the races. It is uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2. So you're getting 10 gigabits per second. Just awesome, awesome. So let me jump on to Amazon so I can show you what to look up so you know you're buying the right one if you decide to go on this temporarily workable solution. Now, when you come in here, you're going to click on and search USB 3.1 Gen 2 PCIe card adapter. You need to search this up exactly or you're going to get too many uh, other things pop up and it's just going to be so annoying. And basically, when you search this up, you will find here's the one I bought it is for $27.99. Quick fix. Now, this is Canadian, of course. So American would be around, what, 21 to 23 bucks, uh, probably 23 or something. And here is the card I purchased there, as you can see, more of these cards. You can see a 3.0, you can see a 3.1 again with uh, two type C's instead of a type A and type C like I purchased. It, but you can see the prices. And this is where you look at things and you go, what are the prices? And how much am I willing to spend on this uh, just you know, workable solution for now. And for me, $70 was just too much. Even heck, even 40 bucks, there was one with uh, a black plate instead of a chrome plate. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just paint the $27 one and be done with it. Uh, so you look at this and you say to yourself, okay, I need to go for the cheapest possible because like once you fix a solution, will I even need this? You know, for me, I'll probably use it. I'm really like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Now, what you want to do is make sure you go for a 3.1 PCIe expansion card. And it has to be Gen 2, 10 gigabytes per second. If you don't buy this at the speed and you get something like 3.0, you're only going to be getting like 6 gigabits per second. And you're going to be like, oh, that guy, why are, you, oh, why are these people? Uh... No, we don't want that. So make sure, and that's why I'm showing you this, make sure it has those two things in here. So when you come in here, make sure, again, you double check before you purchase anything that you see 10 gigabits per second. You see 3.1 Gen 2. You need those there. If they're not there, don't buy it okay unless you want to get slower speed and that's fine and you're fine with that okay that's fine too but for for me with this price not a big deal now you'll notice that this is again uh, x4 so you're going to need that on your computer you need to double check your computer and make sure your pci slots are all in working order and fit in my case i have a hard drive that's in my pci ex 16, the big slot. So I only have two smaller slots. What I needed to do 
uh, which I was fine with buying because I'm going to use this for other things down the road, is by this extension that goes from a X1 to an X4, and I can plug the card in here. This goes right into the motherboard, and we're good to go. The idea of the price point being at $28.99, I was like, oh man, I could find this for like way cheaper. But I mean, uh, for you guys in the States, it's going to be like 20 bucks, And, you know, it's not a big cost if, if you think about it. Because I got it the next day, I needed it as soon as possible. I wasn't willing to wait two months. And who knows when stuff is going to be coming in now um, uh, with uh, the different situations around the world. So I was like, you know what, just get it, be done with it. And we're off to the races now. When you're looking at a solution like this, this will work for many other things. And people will ask, well, you're going from an X6, X4 to an X1 on a card like this. Well, yes, you can do this because this is only 10 gigabits per second. An X1 on your, on your Gen 4 uh, X570 board, that will take you up to 16 gigabits per second. So we're talking about a lot of speed here uh, for those X1s. It's not like a Gen 3. And so this will work no problem. In, uh, uh, in the other side of things, if you're going to go the way Kevin did, he has one of these cards. Now, these cards are running in around $143.64 in Canada. So what, around $110, $120 in the States. So you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, okay, this needs to be in an X4 slot. You won't be able to do that. You need an X4 slot because this is running at 40 gigabits per second. This is huge speed. This is four times faster than that card that we're buying. And at the price point, this is great. Like, honestly, this is great. I might end up buying this down the road. I don't know. I'm baiting it. But the reality is I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, do I really need this? And it's something that I really, really need. That being said, this is going to be used long term. It's not going to be like something that you're not going to use again in any one of the future rigs. Unless they start making Thunderbolt 3s and you never need this again, you know, and they start making the motherboards with Thunderbolt 3, uh, which I, I doubt they will uh, for a very long time, if they ever do, then, you know, this is the idea that this will be used. Uh, at the same time, okay, when you're comparing prices and you look at all these prices, and this is what I was looking at, if you would have told me, all the prices were at $68, $70. I wouldn't be paying, you know, more than 30 for this. Like literally I saw this and I was like, yeah, this is great. Um, if you told me to go up to 70 bucks, there's no reason why I wouldn't go for one of these. And I mean, uh, I can find these used for 126 bucks here. Like, come on, very cheap. So for double the price, I'm getting four times the speed and it's so convenient and so good. So, I mean, this is stuff that we got to think about and we got to think about logically when we're looking at what we're trying to achieve with our needs. Uh, this is a temporary fix. It's not a full fix. You need to put that in your mindset. And it might be that, you know, it might be that they fix it tomorrow. It might be that it's a couple, like this has been going on for months. So it's not, not something that's new. It's not something that they weren't aware of. Uh, they've been trying to delay the process of uh, claiming this is an issue uh, for quite some time. And now it's really like a, a, a big issue for more and more people as everybody's gotten going on this. So, I mean, this is something that everybody needs to be looking at and thinking about when they're uh, looking at what they're trying to achieve with their rig and their, their workflow. For me, this has uh, been awesome. So uh, that's my two cents. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, discrepancies, leave them below. I will be sure to answer them. And if you have a better solution or you find something that's cheaper, something better than this, uh, let me know. I, I definitely want to check it out because um, I'm always interested to see what else I can upgrade with and what else I can uh, use to improve my workflow.